Now it may seem strange, but October marks the start of the 2025 water year for the Colorado River system. That's because snow season typically starts this time of year and snowpack in the Rockies is ultimately what drives our water levels at Lake Mead. Our climate reporter Geneva Zoltek is in studio with this update as we head into water year 2025. Hey Geneva. Hey there, Abel. That's right. We're heading into the water year 2025, and that's because we're heading into the Rocky Mountain snow season, which ultimately feeds the Colorado River and our water source, Lake Mead, which right now sits at 33% capacity, about 1,064 feet high in elevation. That's very similar to where we were this time last year, only a difference of around three feet lower, and a big difference of 20 feet compared to 2022 when we reached critical low levels. Now going into this year, the Rockies did see an above average snowpack 114%, but it wasn't enough to help out the Colorado River system that much. Now here's the thing. We just wrapped up the hottest summer on record here in Las Vegas, which does have an implication on both evaporation on the lake and increased water use in the Las Vegas Valley. It was also very dry, but a reminder that precipitation in southern Nevada doesn't make much of a dent in all the water levels for Lake Mead. Now, looking forward, the Southern Nevada Water Authority tells me conservation remains top of mind for our stretched thin water system. Spokesperson Bronson Mack tells Channel 13 the Bureau of Reclamation is working on a long term plan. Yeah, well, the seven states that share the Colorado River are all working right now to develop new operating guidelines for the river system. The current guidelines that are in place have been in place since 2007, and they expire at the end of 2026. And there will be opportunity for the community to review those plans. Those future plans may be released in the coming months. Now, water demand does go down in the winter as temperatures cool off here in southern Nevada. But here's the overall trend. Warmer and drier conditions year to year due to climate change. However, systems like La Nina and El Nino can shift that trajectory. And Lynn, joining me now, I know climate forecasters mm -hmm. are looking at a La Nina uh, this coming winter, mm -hmm. and I know that confidence is pretty high. It's pretty high. It's about a 70% chance of a La Nina pattern developing here in Las Vegas this winter. So let's take a look at that pattern here. This is our La Nina pattern. As you can see, warmer than normal temperatures are expected the next three months. So we're going to be above normal when it comes to our daytime high temperatures the next three months and we're also going to be drier than normal as well. So we are looking at a drier and warmer winter here in Las Vegas right now. 79 degrees at the airport humidity at 21% and winds are very light and dew point temperature of 36 degrees. So their air is very dry and we are expecting even warmer temperatures as we head through the rest of the week coming up. I'll let you know how warm we'll get and how long these warmer temperatures will last.